Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesdays with Rachel. Thank you for joining me this week. Today I'm going to talk about what to do after you finish Right Start Math for high school math credit. If this is your first time with me, my name is Rachel and I have been homeschooling for 15 years. Before we get started, let's talk about the Right Start Math levels and what grades they are designed for. Um, but before I share this list though, I have a disclaimer. Each child learns at a different speed, and you may find that you're a little behind because your child needs a little bit of extra time with summer material, and that is perfectly fine. That is exactly what you need to be doing. You need to teach your child at the speed that they are able to learn. If you have brought your child in from another program or from a regular public school, you will need to definitely place your child at the level of their understanding, not at a specific grade level. Otherwise, your child is going to miss some very important information and then get frustrated later on. So you definitely wanna place your child at their level of understanding. So what do you use for high school math? Well, Right Start Math recommends four different programs. One is video text. We also recommend Jacob's Algebra, followed by Jacob's Geometry, followed by Forrester's Algebra Two and Trigonometry. Right Start Math recommends Art of Problem Solving and Mr. D Math. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about each of these programs to give you a little idea of how they work. The first program I'm gonna to talk to you about is video text. Um, I've actually used video text with two of my students so far. One reason Right Start Math recommends video text is because it teaches the student to understand the whys behind math. It doesn't just simply have the student memorize algorithms, processes, and procedures, and formulas. Instead, it teaches the, uh, the student to understand why the formulas are what they are, so they can apply them to the math and understand why they're doing it. The video lessons are short. On average, I think the videos are about 10 minutes in length. There are also fewer problems to solve. Video text takes a similar stance as Right Start Math in that they feel that if a student can solve problem five to 10 problems correctly, they don't need to practice another 20 or 30 problems. If the student is struggling with the first five or 10 problems, that means they need to learn the material a little bit better. Another 20 or 30 problems is not going to help them do that. So there are fewer problems to solve in video text. Video text also takes an interesting stance. So the typical student, high school student, the process of learning math and, and the disciplines of math go like this. They will take algebra one, then they will take geometry, and then they take algebra two. And the problem with that is when they get to algebra two, it's been about a year since they've covered anything in algebra one and they've forgotten a lot of it. So the first couple months in algebra two are spent reviewing what they learned in algebra one. Well, video text takes all of that out. Instead, they take one discipline in algebra and they teach it from algebra one all the way through algebra two. And they take another discipline to build upon and then they do the same thing. That way your child is learning um, all of Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 all together. They also have a help desk. So mom, dad, if you are not into algebra or geometry and your child is working through the program and you, they're asking you a question, say call the help desk and they will help your child. So you don't have to figure out and learn algebra alongside them if you choose not to. So how does video text work? Well, the first day they watch a short video. Then they work through the odd numbered problems. Then they check their own work or parents, if you're more comfortable, you can check their grade their work. And then they correct the mistakes they've made. So they go back into the problem, find out where they made their error and make those corrections and correct that. That way they know why they've messed up and they're learning as they go. And then they're done for the day. Then the next day, they take a quiz on the material they've learned previously on the previous day. If the student does well, they move on to the next lesson. But if the student struggled, then they go through everything through day one again. They watch that same video again, then they work through the even numbered problems. The previous day they did the odd numbered problems, the next day they're going to do the even numbered problems. Again, they're going to check their work and correct those problems. And then the next day, they're going to take the qu another quiz. 
Now, if your student's still struggling on day three, but you've run out of problems because you've done both the odd and the even, the website also has additional problems your child can work through. So some things that I liked about video text was there was a short, there were short bite-sized pieces of information. My children were not overloaded with new material. Also, there were fewer problems to solve, which my kids absolutely loved. This program worked very, very well with my struggling learner. So if you have a struggling learner in your home, you might want to take a look at video text as an option for your child. And also they have a help desk, which is a great thing. So you don't have to figure out how algebra or geometry works. Um, just send them over to the help desk and the help desk will help them with their problems. Video text is available on DVDs or online. So you can choose whichever venue you prefer. For more information, go to www.videotext.com. Right, uh, video text is available through Right Start Math or other vendors. Another program that Right Start Math recommends is Jacobs Algebra, Jacobs Geometry, and Forrester's Trigonometry, or Forrester's Algebra 2 and Trigonometry. I've actually used this with one of my students. Um, this is more of a textbook style of learning. The student will read through the lesson, usually about two pages in length, and then they work through the problems after that lesson is uh, read. There are a variety of problems available, which I really like. Um, so, and they're divided up in different sets. Set one being easier, two, a little bit more complex, three and four and so forth. So, um, in fact, set four in um, elementary algebra are more puzzling type of problems when they're available. So you will definitely want to make sure that you don't do, have your st student do all of the problems. That would just overwhelm them. You want to choose which problems to solve. Um, if your student is really, really struggling with the material, maybe you want to linger in sets one and two sets of problems. Um, if your child is a puzzler, loves to solve problems, then maybe you want to linger more towards the sets you know, three and four. And so you definitely choose um, which problems you want to solve. There are also video resources available. So if your child uh, resists the reading or they just want an, an extra element of learning, a video resource is available for all of those uh, programs. And it's so easy to start schedule. Um, each lesson, you ha have a lesson and you day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. So it's so easy to schedule. The student knows where they are. So day or lesson one would be week one. So very easy to schedule. Again, just like a um, video text, it's available to purchase from Right Start Math or you can purchase it from other vendors. Another high school math program that Right Start Math recommends is Art of Problem Solving. Now this is geared more towards the gifted student, the very strong math student or the one who is going to go into a high level math career. The text includes a variety of problems to solve. Many require puzzling out, some deep thinking going on there. Also, uh, Art of Problem Solving has higher levels of math available. They in include, of course, Algebra, Geometry, um, Algebra 2, but also Pre-Calculus and a level in Calculus as well. For more information about Art of Problem Solving, go to www.aops.com. This program is also available to purchase from Right Start Math and other vendors. Another program that Right Start Math recommends is Mr. D Math, and I've actually used Mr. D Math for one of my kids. This is an online math program, and you can choose, but you can choose different formats. You can choose a virtual classroom where you have an instructor to work with your student, or you can choose self-paced classes where you watch a where the student will watch a pre-recorded instructional video. Those videos are very detailed, and so therefore they are longer in length, probably about 25 to 30 minutes on average. And the student, the, the professor will go through the lesson and provide numerous examples of the problems the student will be solving. There's also daily problems to solve. Um, sometimes, though, I felt like there were too many problems, so I wouldn't necessarily give my kids the... Um, Every single problem, I would pull out a few if they were redundant, you know, uh, the same problem kind of over and over and over again. The grading is recorded online. Yay! <laughs> for those parents who were like tired of trying to calculate all of those grades for their transcripts, graded is, grading is provided online. The calculations are done for you online. So that's a really big plus on, in my book. Um, they have an excellent help desk, an excellent help desk. If my son struggled with anything, he just contacted them and they were right on it. If we had problem with the video, if we had problems with our computer system, they were right on top of it. So they, had, they really helped us a lot.
One of the big uh, pluses for this program though is they have extra help classes available two or three times a week. They tell you what time and what day these help sessions will come take place and your student can log on during that time frame and get assist extra help along the way. So if they're struggling with one aspect of algebra or geometry, they log on during that help session and discuss that with the teacher and the teacher will walk through that. I love that aspect of this program. So how does it work? Well, it works very similarly to video text. Day one, the student watches the video, they work through the problems, and then they check and correct the problems. Now remember, the same way with video text, not only are they checking their own work, but they are figuring out where they made the error so that they can learn from that. Then they record their grade on the website, and then they're done for the day. On day two, they take an online quiz that's graded automatically. The student doesn't do any grading with that. If the student does well, then they move on to the next lesson. If the student does not do well on that quiz, then they watch the video from the previous day again and solve another set of problems. And then they check and correct the problems and then again record the grade on the website. Now you have, the student has two quiz um, opportunities. So if your child struggles, like my child did a couple times, they struggled on the first quiz, took the lesson again, struggled on the second quiz, they can actually request another quiz opportunity. So they can continue to do that until they get the material down. For more information about the program, go to www.mrdmath.com. I hope this has helped you get some ideas of what direction to head after you finish your Right Start Math journey. If you have found this video helpful, it would be great if you click the like button. And if you know someone whose children are getting ready for high school math, share that, this video with them. I will be taking next week off, but in a couple weeks we'll return with some helpful information as you continue your Right Start Math journey. Until then, have a great week everybody.